everyone! So today I'll be doing a review on the new Trader Joe's 2023 candle which came out for their holiday or Christmas collection. It is called Chocolate Croissant. I was waiting for this by the way. And then the type of wax listed says soy wax, coconut oil, and beeswax blend with lead-free cotton wicks. Net weight is 5.64 ounces or 160 grams and with an approximate burn time of 24 hours. So I do notice a difference each time that I buy Trader Joe's candles. I don't know if they're trying out different types of wax formulas, but previously I've seen soy wax only. I've seen soy coconut wax. This one in particular is new that it says coconut oil and then beeswax. I feel like that's a little bit of, of a nuance. I'm just a little curious why it says blend, so I don't know if there's paraffin or if there's not paraffin, so I just want to make that distinction. So of course it has it in the tin size candle, so these are single wicks. Um, let me go ahead and show you an unburnt one because I bought a backup, which, spoiler, I don't know if I'm going to keep it. I really love the scent, but anyways, to not get too into it. Here is how it looks like. So it's got a pretty wide diameter and then it just has that one wick. And then in the back it has the um, like candle warnings and everything. So there we go right there. Um, if you want to pause to read. This dropped pretty early on. So today is November 16th. However, it dropped earlier maybe like two days ago. But all right, let's stop chatting and let me get on to the candle. Okay, so the packaging, it's pretty iconic. They're tin candles. Typically, they're in a metal tin that isn't colored, and the label is a different color as well. So this is a brown tin with an orange label. So it's cool. It's easy to travel if you're into lighting candles, let's say when you're at a hotel or you want to make something a little bit cozier. All right, so let me go ahead and open this and show you how it looks like if I haven't inserted the clips already. So I'm no stranger to burning Trader Joe's candles and I do want to preface this by saying that I typically burn Bath & Body Works candles which is a paraffin soy blend so I feel like paraffin personally it tends to hold on to fragrance better and give off a better scent throw and just overall terms of strength. But also I also want to make a note that when you are burning a single wig I think you should kind of have a certain expectation that it's not going to give you the same throw as a two wick nor a three wick or four wick. I don't know, some four wicks I've had are very disappointing. <laughs> Anyways, this will be my, I think it's the midway mark. You can't really pretty much tell, but all right, let me show you this atrocity. So if you can see right here, it has tunneled pretty badly. There's like a pretty deep edge, especially right there at the corner. I've never had a Trader Joe's candle tunnel this badly. However, I have not been doing my traditional put this inside of a Bath & Body Works three wick candle holder. So I think what that does is that just uh, retains more heat and it helps burn the sides. But this time I'm like, no, I want to get a true accurate burn on how someone's going to burn like typically light this and I don't want to bother to tin foil it so I just want to let you know that okay but in terms of fragrance itself I feel like this is an accurate depiction or like an accurate name for what this smells like let me go ahead and open my unburnt one so I do get this really creamy chocolate I feel like it's not necessarily like 100% powdered, but I do get a little bit of a liquid chocolate plus a powdered chocolate. Kind of like very sweetened um, cocoa butter. However, there is that hint of butter butteriness that you would find in a croissant. I wouldn't say that I detect a lot of like a bread or bready note. But if I had to pick something that this reminds me of, I would say that it's Probably those Tootsie Roll candies that, um, well, at least for me, I didn't like them when I was a kid and now I think I like them again. But yeah, it reminds me a little bit of that. I don't know if you remember that it kind of is a little bit like glossy. It's got a bit of a sheen. I don't know if that's butter or not. But yeah, um, I would say that the note that I detect the most for sure is the chocolate, both in the powder and in the liquid form. And then I get a butter and the croissant. Um... Is, is like way in the background. I don't even know if I would detect it. All right, so let me go ahead and burn this and either put clips of how it burns or just light this. All 
Okay, there we go. I have it lit up. Let me change the angle slightly. Okay, so here is the candle. It got a little darker because of the lighting situation. But anyways, you can pretty much see that large section of unburnt wax. So I'm like right around my, or the halfway mark. This is, I want to say my fourth or fifth time burning this. And okay, so just to, you know, rewind to the first burn. Um, this candle lists on the back to not burn this candle for more than two hours. Me being a rebel, I wanted an even wax pull, so I lit this, and even at the four hour mark, I still did not have this candle fully pulled out. So I gave up because I'm like, okay, I'm, I don't want to have this candle burning on for too much longer. And then it just kind of continued from there. Um, it pretty much stays at that circumference, and then it doesn't go further out, so... I'm thinking maybe the previous times I had burned Trader Joe's candles. I don't know if the wax formula was better, but autocorrected itself during like this midway mark burn. But that's not going to happen because it's just, I feel like I'm at the point of no return. I think I could either tin foil this or cotton ball it, but I don't really want to do that. So in terms of strength and throw, I'm getting like a 1 out of 10 because this is just not happening um i feel like i'm getting even less than i would from a bath and body Works single wick granted a uh, bath and body Works single wicks there are some that are pretty powerful but i would say that this is maybe like mm, i don't know i feel like the majority of bath and body Works single wicks i've had a better uh strength and throw and given that those are around a three out of ten so i'm not sure if you are a casual candle burner maybe this would suffice for you if let's say you want to pull up read a book um just have it like really close to you on your desk and stuff of course in like a safe way but um yeah this is pretty much just gonna be used on a probably my bottom plate warmer or my my candle warmer or a hot plate basically because i don't want to waste any more of the wax and this got me to thinking if i want to return the second one so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to warm this and then see how well um, or how that doesn't, hopefully it does, improve the strength and throw of the candle. Because right now it's sitting about at a 1 out of 10. And I think the other Trader Joe's candle that I have the same type of, well not burn experience in terms of tunneling, but strength and throw, it was probably the mango tangerine candle and I had much better luck using my candle warmer. And I feel like that improved and kind of saved me some money. So the cost of this candle is $3.99. So it is comparable if you get a Bath & Body Works single wick. Um, now those retail $15.95. Actually, let me change the angle again and show you a scent that I thought of when I burned this. Hi, so me again. So the scent that I thought immediately when I saw this candle was coming out was the Bath & Body Works, whoa, that's very close, Hot Cocoa and Cream. This is their single wick format and my sister has been burning, ooh, has been burning this. As you can tell, this one is tunneling a bit. However, it's not as bad as the Trader Joe's just because the Trader Joe's has a wider um, opening than this Bath & Body Works. And also the um, container is different. The Bath & Body Works is a uh, pretty thick glass while the Trader Joe's is a tin. So in terms of how similar this is, I would say that the Bath and Body Works one is a lot more powdery, less like um, liquidy, and there's almost no hints. Actually, there's no hint of butter in the Bath and Body Works hot cocoa and cream candle. Yeah, so this is straight up like cocoa powder, um, probably like you haven't even... No, actually, it's like a majority cocoa powder with like maybe a little bit of already made hot cocoa but not too much it is a little bit creamy but i feel like um the main difference is that the chocolate croissant is buttery while this one is a little bit more um like milky creamy those types of adjectives and to read to you the scent notes decadent milk chocolate fresh steamed milk mini marshmallows yeah, so this is when the candles retailed $15.50. That's no longer the case as of November 2023. So now the single wicks in the mason jars are $15.95. So if you're able to find them on sale for 75% off, you would end up paying $3.98. So that's just 
a penny's different from this um, Trader Joe's candle. And then I believe the ounces for these mason jars are 7 ounces. Whereas with the Trader Joe's tin candles, you only get 5.74. So that's to say, I feel like this candle isn't really worth getting. Or the only kind of scenario that I would recommend this candle if you wanted a soy, like a majority soy natural quote unquote wax, and you don't want to have anything to do with paraffin. Um, however, I think if you're going to warm it, pretty much just stick with Bath and Body Works. Um, I am going to, yeah, go ahead and warm this, bust out my hot plate, and get the most out of my money. And then, yeah, depending on what happens, I'm going to either return or keep the other tin jar candle. That has been my pretty subpar experience with those Trader Joe's candles. I feel like the first two candles that I burned, it was pretty good, and now it's just kind of going downhill. And I don't really know if I want to keep shelling, or not shelling, but like um, putting money into these tin candles that just aren't going to perform maybe if i really love love the scent and i want to warm the wax okay but so far i haven't really been wowed by any of the fragrances so that's another reason why i didn't bother with the advent calendar for trader joe's because i'm like oh i'm gonna be stuck with all these tin candles that i can't smell and then even more so the even tinier ones oh Good luck with that. So here is a quick update. So I started warming the candle with my new top-down candle warmer that I reviewed. You can see right there it says 5 hours and 19 minutes. So I set it for 6 hours just to see how long it would take to fully melt. And while it did take a few minutes to warm, I think it also could be because it's really like far from the light bulb. But anyways, this already... 40 minutes in smells way more than what I was getting lit. So I feel like using this under a candle lamp or a warmer, you should be set. But I mean, that kind of defeats the purpose of buying a candle with a wick. But, you know, I'm definitely going to salvage what I can. And it's already almost fully pulled out towards the edges. So um, I can definitely say that if you want to get the scent that you get on cold, use it with your candle lamp. If you don't have a candle lamp, uh probably don't buy it but, but, but unless you are one of the people who like to buy candles and just smell them on cold and never light them that could also be a thing you know like all props to you if you like doing that um but yeah no i'm going to continue use this, using this on my candle lamp and the smell i would say right now currently it doesn't fill up my full medium-sized bedroom i would say it fills up about 75 percent and it hasn't really traveled far strength wise i would give it a solid five or six out of ten if i get a little bit closer to it so obviously the further out i'm you know out in my room in the opposite corner i'm not going to get much of a scent but yeah i'm um, super happy i didn't kind of waste my money so i'm definitely going to keep the other one just to warm it in this candle lamp but i'm not going to purchase any additional backups but yeah that is my review i guess the warming portion of it let me know if you have any questions and i hope you have a great day okay bye